Hey friends, I'm back with another video. And you guessed it, this is going to be another uh, Buffy reaction video to Season 1, Episode 10 called Nightmares. So without any nonsense, let's just get right in to the show. So obviously, Buffy's in the sewer. Oh, she's in the master's uh, master bedroom. His lair. And he's stalking her. Has she even seen him like in person yet? I guess I guess this would be the first time. You dropped your steak, Buffy. Pick it up. You're gonna need it. I mean, I guess if I saw his face, I'd be kind of creeped out, too. Does he have, like, magic powers? Come on, he's just a vampire. Oh, see, it was really your mom. No. Yeah. I had a dream like that once. I mean, it wasn't a vampire attacking me. It was it was a French loaf, but it was it was terrifying. And my mother was waking me up. I was a child, by the way. I was a child and she was shaking me He's awake. Coming, right? You're on for and this I weekend. kept repeating everything she was saying Good. because in the dream I had like amnesia after the attack. So do you see your dad a lot? The French Not loaf. A whole lot. And He's still in so LA. it was like you repeat like everything I say. Sometimes. Never mind. Let's watch the show. Well, it wasn't finalized till last year, but they were separated before that. Must have been harsh. Yeah, that's the word you're looking for. I mean, they were really good about it around me anyway, but still. Hello, doofus. You're in my light. Wendell, what is wrong with you? Don't you know that she is the center of the universe and the rest of us merely revolve around her? Why don't you revolve yourselves out of my life? Cordelia, still charming. Uh, Wendell was in Cordelia's light. I'm so ashamed. Why is she so avita like I think it's the hair. It weighs heavy on the cerebral cortex. Hey guys, <laughs> was there any homework? We're doing active listening today. Cool. What's active listening? That would be the whole Something thing. you don't usually do? Active listening, where you put on your big ears and really focus on the other person. Miss Tischler demonstrated it yesterday. With you. Just wearing that tight sweater. Oh, the midnight blue angora. See, I was listening. Right. All right, take your seats. Food and shelter is to be heard. Wendell, would you read the first two paragraphs on page 78 where Isaacson describes the rapid improvement... Isn't he a little young for high school? Ah! Oh, spiders? Okay, suddenly Raiders of the Lost Ark. Sorry about that. You're awfully quiet this morning. I didn't sleep well. I'll say. I came in to check on you twice. You were yelling in your sleep. Do you know what you were dreaming? Not really. What was she oh, yelling? No, I want to know. The weekend and I forgot it. You and your dad can swing by the house and get your bag. It's not an international crisis. Okay. Yeah, I just I, I meant to bring it. He's picking me up here, right? At, at 3.30? Honey, are, are you worried your father isn't going to show? No. Yeah, probably. Not really. Maybe. Be? Well, of course not. I, I just, I know it's a hard situation. You just have to remember that your father adores you. No more than I do, by the way. Goodbye. <laughs> right. Have a great day. Thanks. He loves you, but I love you more. 
Okay, but we're still caring about the spiders here. Let's not forget the spiders. No, Giles said he was gonna look it up. Giles? Maybe he's in the faculty room. Hey, Giles. Wakey, wakey. I was uh, in the stacks. Got lost. Did you find any theories on spiders coming out of It's a library. Books? How'd you get Big, lost? Harry, crawly. He's such a Funny dick. Me. I couldn't find anything particularly illuminating. Um, I think perhaps you'd best have a chat with Wendell himself. Okay. He can still talk. Hmm. Maybe don't all approach them at once. Hey, Wendell. It might How are you? scare them. Oh, but they're going to all gang up on you. You okay? Do you guys want something? We just thought you might want to talk about what happened. You know, yesterday with the spiders. I don't know what to say about that. There's nothing to say. You saw 200 insects. You gonzoed. Anybody would have. They're not insects. They're arachnids. Right. Even I know spiders that. Spiders are arachnids. They have eight legs. Insects only have six. Why does everyone make that mistake? <laughs> Sanders a dummy. Has anything like this ever happened before? And he seems to be wearing plaid pants. If you remember, yes, I have an what? issue with plaid pants. Lots of times. Ew, you must hate spiders more than I do. <laughs> I don't hate spiders. I love them. They hate me. I hope you study for the history test. What history test? The one we're having in fourth period right now. There's a history test? Nobody told me there's a history test. I haven't, I... Okay, I will catch up with you guys later. You don't know our classes, do you? Really? Uh, hardly a shocker. You've cut history just about every time we've had it. Well, I was there the first day, I think. It's in here. I haven't been to class. I haven't read any of the assignments. How am I going to pass this test? Blind luck? Cordelia's being surprisingly nice to Buffy in this episode. <sighs> At least I know my name. <clears throat> but do you though? I didn't even see the difference in the time. Shows how much attention I pay. There's plaid pants again. Is this my nightmare? It's an episode full of plaid pants. It's the universe trying to tell me something through plaid pants. Well, they won't D there, another. Completely unfair since Sean started it. Anyway, it means we can't do the movie. I'm going to take a break. What? A two finger break? A two minute there. break? Oh, she's going to hang out with Freddy Krueger. In the boiler room. Stupid girl, don't go in boiler rooms. That's where Freddy Krueger hangs out. And by the look of it, he's here. Okay, not Freddy Krueger, just a big, mean guy in need of a facial. I think they said room 316. You know the girl? You say hi, I do. Laura's nice enough. Nobody saw who attacked her? Well, I was rather hoping that Laura did. Ooh, she got Hello. messed up. Not intruding. That's okay. I don't want to be left alone. You understand we're anxious to make sure this, this doesn't happen again. Where's her family? You'd think her family would Can be here visiting. Happened? I was in the basement. I went down for a smoke. Smoking kills. Someone there. Someone you knew? I've never seen anything like it. It? 
it. A clown! Right. Hey, it's okay. He was big right. and messed up. You, you, you just messed up. And ill-tempered. You know, but Hi, if you remember anything, you can tell us. Even if it may seem weird. She needs to rest now. Lucky 19. I'm sorry? It's what he said right before. He said, lucky 19. That's weird, right? Yes, yes it is. Yeah, pretty weird. Feel better. Yeah, apparently her family doesn't give a crap. They didn't show up. Bones, a little internal bleeding. She got off pretty easy. Easy. Have you looked up the word lately? Well, the first one's still in a coma. First what? First victim. They found him a week ago. Exact same MO as the girl, only he's in worse shape. If he doesn't wake up soon, somebody's got to stop this guy. I'm just saying, Wendell had a dream, and then that exact thing happened. Which is a fair Wiggins, I admit, but do you think that ties in with Laura? I don't know. Maybe she dreamed about getting beat up. We should ask Buffy when she gets back from the hospital. If there is a connection, it doesn't sound like anything... <laughs> what? Xander, what happened to your... Uh, I don't know. I was uh, dressed a minute ago. It's a dream. It's got to be a dream. Ow, wake up. Ow, got to wake up. Ah! It's going to be happening. Walk out quietly, be. turn around and leave. Making a oh, bigger um, scene is I just going to make it worse. The, uh, papers. Um, I'm trying to do some research. Did you find anything? I don't know. You don't know if you didn't find anything. Having a problem. What is it? I, I can't read. <laughs> I mean? can't read. You can read like three languages. Five, actually, on a normal day. But the, the words here don't make any sense. It's gibberish. That's him. Who? The kid I've been seeing around school. 12-year-old Billy Palmer was found beaten and unconscious after his kitty league game Saturday. Doctors describe his condition as critical. When was this published? The That's first it. victim. He says he's in a coma and intensive care. This is the boy from the hospital. Right. The first victim. And you might have noticed if he paid a visit yeah, to his room. Yeah, the got Wendell, and, and then when I did nothing on the history test, I, I thought it was weird seeing this kid around, but I forgot about it. Uh, the boy's been in a coma for a week. How could this be possible? What am I, knowledge girl now? Explanations are your terrain. Except oh, you well, can't read um, right now. There's astral projection. Uh, the theory that while one sleeps, one has another body, an, an astral body, which can travel through time and space. Billy's in a coma. That's like sleep, right? In a manner of speaking, although or, or one doesn't always awake from a coma. Could I be seeing Billy's asteroid body? Asteroid body? Astral body, yeah. I don't know. As usual, one doesn't have a, an inordinate amount of information to work with. Lucky 19. There you are. I've been looking everywhere. Why aren't you in class? Dad, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to pick me up till after school. Is something wrong? Well, I, I need to talk to you. Something is wrong. Is it Mom? No, no, it's not your mother. She's fine. I came early because there's something I've needed to tell you about your mother and why we split up. Well, you always told me... Was... Uh, I know we always said it was because we'd just grown too far apart. Yeah, isn't that true? Well, come on, honey, let's, let's sit down. Uh, you're old enough now to know the truth. Was there someone else? No, no, it was nothing like that. Oh? Then what was it? It was you. Right. Me? Having you. Raising you, seeing you every day. I mean, do you have any idea what that's like? Wow, what a dick. You don't even see what's right in front of your face, do you? Well, big surprise there, all you ever think about is yourself. You get in trouble. You embarrass us with all the crazy stunts you pull. And do I have to go on? No, please don't. 
I want you're him to be me. in a car accident all Ooh, of a sudden. You're not nearly as bright as I thought you were going to be. <laughs> I mean, Buffy, let's be honest. Could you stand to live in the same house with a daughter like that? Why are you saying all these things? He's a freaking because monster. I think that's the least we owe one another. No. You know, I don't think it's very mature getting blubbery when I'm just trying to be honest. Speaking of which, I don't really get anything out of these weekends with you. So, what do you say we just don't do them anymore? Damn. Oh my god. I sure thought you'd turn out differently. Uh, it's my childhood all over again. That guy sucks. He should meet my mom. They'd probably get along. Oh, there's the turkey kid again. <laughs> I don't understand. This can't be happening. I was just at the salon. <gasps> She's like Gilda Radner. And that might be kind of an insult to Gilda Radner, though. There's the creepy asteroid kid. Billy? What are you doing just walking around the school? Are you Billy Palmer? I'm Billy. Why are you here? That's a good question. Why are Something you bad here? What happened to you after your game? Something bad? I, I don't remember. Do you remember playing baseball? Uh huh. Yeah. I play second base. Are you lucky, 19? Who's That's on first? Who? The ugly man. He wants to kill me. And he hurt that girl. Why does he want to kill you, Billy? He's... Billy, it's okay. What? Just tell me. It's He's right. here! Great. <laughs> Damn. That was pretty vicious. Stronger than Buffy by the look of it. Buffy doesn't know this is happening, and given the sort of thing that she tends to dream about, it's imperative that we find her. Probably faster if we split up to look for her. Good idea. Uh, faster, but not really safer. Right, thank you, Willow. You're saying what we're all thinking. Billy! I'm sorry, I can't help it. Who is he? He's the ugly man. He's too strong. I can't fight him. We have to find my friends that can help us. We have to hide. No, he'll find us. Yes, but we have to hide. That's how it happens. We hide, and then he comes. No! That doesn't make any Do sense. <laughs> I think that's kind of funny. Hello. Buffy? It's a trap! Don't go down Hello? there. You're gonna you're gonna find Buffy? Freddy Krueger also. Or the weird messed up guy with the bat hand. I wonder if he's related to Seamus from oh, Family friend. Guy. You know, like all I'd wood arms and stuff. I'm not. Keep telling yourself that, Willow. 
Especially if it works. Oh, great. Nazi stuff. Is he having, like, a nightmare about... He did right. say something about Nazis crawling on his face earlier. Someone else is lost. He's going to encounter Nazis. Boots. With chocolate? It's going to be someone who lives in a van down by the river. With a sign, free candy, lucky day. on the outside. Dude, who eats like multiple candy bars all at once? I love chocolate and I still wouldn't do it. Sure it's a waste. Eat one at a time. You're just playing. What is it? What's bothering you? Baseball. When you lose, it's bad. Did you lose your game last week? It was my fault. Why was it your fault? I missed a ball when I should have caught it. You missed one ball and the whole game was your fault? What? You were the only one playing, there wasn't eight other people on your team? He said it was my fault. Who said? Uh, he sounds like a douche. Billy, did he hurt you after the game? Can we go another way to find your friends? Sure. Oh, it's the cemetery. Well, that's so much what better. What happened? Is this where your friends are? No, it's not. Man, I thought yeah, they're, they're all dead. Aldo is beside himself. Ladies and gentlemen, you're proud to present two of the world's greatest singers. I hope you warmed up. It's an ugly crowd out there tonight. All the so everybody's just getting the business. <laughs> Who shoves someone like that? Rude. The hell is a chocolate hurricane? It sounds like the name of a Birthday. crappy B list superhero. I guess we're gonna bury somebody. I wonder who died. Nobody died. What's the fun of burying someone if they're already dead? <laughs> you. Great. So, this is the Slayer. You're prettier than the last one. It's kind of weird because they haven't this actually met in person yet. You can't be free. You still don't understand. But I think she you? did dream about him. I am free because you fear it. Because you fear it, the world is crumbling. Your nightmares are made flesh. You have little Billy to thank for that. This is a dream. A dream is a wish your heart makes. <laughs> this is real life. <laughs> Come on, Slayer. What are you afraid of? <laughs> <laughs> How about being buried alive? I'd say that's a valid fear. Close your mouth, you're gonna get dirt in it. She's fine, Buffy. I had to sing. Very bad. She's <laughs> sing. Come on, let's find the others. What happened to you? Remember my sixth birthday party? <laughs> Oh yeah, when the clown chased you and you got so scared that you had... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what a creepy clown. Now they're all sharing in Xander's nightmare. 
he's just like, all right, I had enough. <laughs> yes. You are a lousy clown. Way to go. Animals were pathetic. Everyone can make a giraffe. Way to go, Xander. He just stood up to his worst I nightmare. Feel, I feel liberated. You seem to be the only one. Things are getting worse. In a few hours, reality will fall completely into the realm of nightmares. What do we do? The only thing I can think is to try and wake Billy. Oh, no, we can't leave without Buff. Agreed, but who knows where she might have gone. Excuse me. When did they put a cemetery in across the street? And when did they make it night over there? I was wondering why they seemed so bright, like more light on them than usual. And I think it was for this contrast for when they go in this dark area to make it seem so much darker. In my duty to protect you. I should have been more cautious, taken more time to train you. But she was so gifted. Get a shovel. She's not dead. She's just buried. And the evil was so great. I'm sorry. Oh, she got herself out. This is a bizarre world moment. Buffy. Don't look at me. So is a vampire slayer like a stronger slayer? You never told me you dreamt of becoming a vampire. This isn't a dream. No, no, it's not. But there's a chance that we can make it go away. This all comes from Billy. Now, if we can only wake him up, I believe that the nightmares will stop and reality will shift back into place, but we must do it now. I need you to hold together long enough to help us. Can you do that? Yeah. I think I can. That makeup really does make people look creepy. Well, we better hurry. I'm getting hungry. That is uh, a joke, right? Are you sure everything will go back no, once he's awake? No, probably not. Uh, positive. Billy! <laughs> Billy! That won't work. Billy. He's right there, Dad. next to his own body. Billy, you have to wake up. No, I told her. I have to hide. Why? From what? From him. Oh man, what do we do? I think I know. Oh, giant insects. I heard it better be soon. That's fun. Glad you showed up. You see, I'm having a really bad day. Lucky 19. Scary. I'll tell you something now. There are a lot scarier things than you. Like, like her right now? And I'm one of them. Kick his ass. I wonder if she could like just drain all his blood and kill him. Those growls. Yes. Just broke his hand or his club. Let's see who you really Billy are. Dad. Come here, Billy. I don't. You have to do the rest. Yeah, you gotta do something, man. Everybody's losing it. What are they doing? I 
It's like Xander, you yeah, know, he hiding. punched a clown. He's got to punch the creepy bat fist guy. Oh. Everything's normal. Hey, he's waking up. I had the strange dream. And you were in it. And you. And little Toto, too. Let's get a doctor. Billy's got company. Uh, I'm his kitty league coach. I come by here every day just hoping against hope that he's going to wake up soon. He's, oh, uh, he's the coach. Lucky 19. <laughs> so, um, how is he? He's awake. What? So he's a monster. You blamed him for losing the game. So you caught up with him afterwards, didn't you? <laughs> what are you talking about? You said it was my fault that we lost. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. Tried to run. There's eight other players on the team. You know that. Way to go, kid. Nice going. Now get the cops. I just can't believe a Kitty League coach would do something like that. Well, you obviously haven't played Kitty League. Surprise was one of the parents. I'm just glad he's behind bars where he belongs. But yeah, that, that kid Xander was a menace. Oh, the coach. Well, too yeah, him too. I mean, if you want to label it heroic. Have a killer weekend, guys. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, it's so good to see you. How was your day? Oh, you know, usual. Personal question? Yeah, shoot. When Buffy was a vampire, you weren't still, like, attracted to her, were you? Willow, how can you... I mean, that's really bent. She was... grotesque. Still dug her, huh? <laughs> I'm sick. I need help. Yeah. Don't yeah. I know it. You do, man. Would he have actually enjoyed it if she sucked his blood? Who knows? It's possible. Well, that was fun. Kind of, kind of not. Not sure what I think about that episode. It was, it was creepy. It was weird. I guess it was kind of like monster of the day uh, without really having a monster of the day. Because it was the kid... And, well, I guess the monster of the day could have been the coach. The obnoxious uh, kitty league coach. Uh, yeah, I guess he was the big bad for that one. Uh, because you can't really say the master was, because he was just in it for a little second. You know, when he threw Buffy in the coffin. I don't know. I'm trying to think of what the theme was to that. About, well, you know, some adults are scumbags. That's always valid uh i'm makes me kind of glad i didn't play sports much when i was a kid i wasn't on no kitty league team i definitely wouldn't want to get bludgeoned half to death if i lost a game that would be pretty shitty uh what the the thing is sure this is this is fiction it's a show but i could see why anybody watching this episode would get angry heated upset because it's it's very much real it's it's way more this this can actually happen it's like way more realistic of of some obnoxious regular human to lose their minds and and beat up some kid more than you know vampires and and stuff like that so i i could see this like really upsetting some folks uh luckily again it is fiction but that's the crappy part is that there's people 
in reality that are just that awful. And uh, I, I kind of am glad to say that while I was bullied growing up, it was mostly by my own peers, uh, not so much by adults. Uh, yeah, I, if you don't count, like, you know, parents and teachers. Um, <laughs> I had a couple of teachers that were sucky, uh, but nothing, nothing to that level. It was just more mental manipulation kind of crap that they would do. Uh, just, just kind of scummy, but not like on the side of evil, just more maybe inconsiderate or uh, didn't really think of what they say and do and how it might impact a child. Because, uh, you know, something might affect adults differently than, than they would affect the kid. You say something to a kid, that might completely destroy their confidence and mess them up for years. Whereas if you said the same thing to an adult, they'd be like, yeah, screw you, you smell or whatever, you know, just insult them back and that's that, and it's over. Uh, and I, re I remember uh, you know, being a, a bit of a sensitive kid back in the day where some people said some things to me and I was I was hurt and I was hurt for a while and it, it affected me for more than just a couple of minutes or days. So, yeah, I don't know if that's the theme they were going for. Uh, you know, that adults can sometimes be scumbags or that, you know, uh, kids can uh, be more prone to being hurt by something uh, than an adult. Uh, but I don't, I don't know. What do you all, what do you guys think of that episode? Uh, you know, where does it sort of rate in, in season one uh, from good to bad? Uh, I, I kind of think some of the effects were worse on, on, on this one. Like, especially that brief scene with the flying giant insects. That was, that was very poorly executed. Uh, but I guess, you know, it was, they probably had a, a certain budget limit that they can work with. And, uh making it look real wasn't really in the budget so they were like yeah let's just do it for like a second it'll be a good thing to have in there but i think they could have done something else you know that might have looked better or or whatever uh but yeah uh at least buffy's dad wasn't really her dad when he was being a complete douche so that's good that's sort of a relief. And, uh... Willow. Willow's afraid of singing. Uh... It's kind of like, as far as fears go, I don't know. So I guess, I guess she's not really afraid of anything else. Uh, I don't know. A spiders. She did say she was afraid of spiders. So... I, I think I would be more along the lines of like Xander with fears like I don't really love clowns <laughs> especially if one started chasing me with a knife I don't know if I'd have his courage to turn around and punch the clown in the face uh, but I guess so I guess the theme could be like facing your fears right uh, you master your fear instead of letting your fear be your master that sort of cheesy thing. Uh, but anyway, uh, I guess that's it for my little feedback or what I think of it. Uh, what I would rate it from like 1 to 10 as far as, I don't know, I'd, I'd call it like a 5. It, it I don't see it as an impressive good episode, but I don't think it was anywhere the worst episode. I think the concept is cool, where nightmares become real, and that's, that's it would actually be most people's real nightmare, right? Just have your absolute worst fear 
come to life. I'm trying to think what would be my worst fear. I don't know if I would really want to reveal my worst fear to anyone, but I think one that is often on my mind and is definitely up there in the top 10 for me is to uh, lose everything I have, like, and, and, and be uh, homeless, uh, you know, lose my job and not be able to work, like if something happened to my car and then I couldn't replace my car and I couldn't drive anymore or work or, and then I couldn't find any other job and I ran out of savings and then I had to, you know, I couldn't pay rent, you know, what would happen? I could end up on the street. And it's kind of messed up, you know, that in today's society, that can happen. And it's an actual thing. Like, if something were to happen, like, if I went blind, for example, if I completely lost my vision, I would be screwed because I couldn't drive anymore. Uh, I wouldn't even be able to make videos properly anymore. I mean, sure, I could sit in front of a camera, but I think someone else would kind of have to set everything up for me because, you know, you can't see a monitor. You can't see a screen. You can't see if things are being done properly or not. Uh, so what would I do if I went blind? I really don't know. And, and the thing is, some of my passengers are uh, vision impaired. And I'm always like, wow, dude's like, you know, getting around. I mean, sure, I have to drive him, but he's, you know, brave. <laughs> getting into a stranger's car, you know, and... Uh, you know, with the with the cane and stuff, and it just today it was it was a fella, a vision impaired, and I don't think he was like a hundred percent blind, where all he saw was darkness. I I think he could see maybe shapes, because he did have the cane, but he knew uh, that we weren't in front of his house right away, and I'm like, okay, this guy is seeing better than me at the moment, um, but yeah, you know, I guess because he's so familiar with this house. And uh, at least he, he has a house. I live in a crappy apartment. So I think it would be harder. Uh, but yeah, he's like, yeah, just turn around here. And then we go back up and it's it's closer to the other part of the, the block. And I'm like, all right. And yeah, and there it was. And there was his address. And so when I see that and I'm like, well, you know, I guess if you're like completely lose your vision, you know, you could still sort of do some stuff. But at the same time, I'd say that's a fear of mine, going blind and just losing everything and not being able to uh, do for myself and take care of myself. Uh, being self-sufficient is important to me. I definitely don't ever want to become anyone's burden. And if that happens, I would for sure uh, fall into some kind of uh, dark ass depression. So, yeah. What's your fears? Anybody want to feel comfortable enough to share some of their legit fears in the comments? I would be more than willing to hear them. And uh, hopefully none of us ever have to face them in real life. So again, thanks for watching. Uh, remember, there's a Patreon. Patreon, you get to see my full-length reactions uncut and unedited and commercial free along with all my uh, gaming videos and content and you would be supporting me and supporting the channel there's also a discord and a twitter and all the links are in the description below so thanks for watching have a great day and a wonderful tomorrow